Hi, this is Susie at Resinspo. Welcome to my channel. Thanks for watching. Today I'm going to be showing you how I made this sun catcher out of glitter and window film and resin. If you enjoy this video, please remember to like and subscribe. And here's how it was done. So to start off with, this is the window film that I was using. I just got this from Amazon. As you'll see on one side, it has a pattern that's kind of indented that is prisms and you can't really see it in this light, but it does kind of throw rainbows um, as a prism does. Uh, so what I did is I cut a square out. I made sure to press down the edges of the window film as much as I possibly could because I didn't want to get resin underneath it. I didn't want it to kind of creep underneath um, because that might ruin the prism effect and also I didn't want to have issues getting the film off at the end. Although as you'll see it didn't really matter anyway. Um, so this is just some clear resin that I'm mixing up um, with nothing added to it but I'm about to add in these glitters. So there's a, um, a couple of different ones from Let's Resin. I'll link everything in the description as always. Um, so that's kind of really chunky glitter and then as well as that I also put in some kind of fine iridescent white glitter. Um, I think that was just from the works. And the final colour I added in was some sky blue opal from Let's Resin. Um, so I didn't put a huge amount in because I wasn't too sure. I didn't really want it to be full on glitter. I just wanted it to kind of throw some glittery shapes being as it was going to be a sun catcher rather than actually be um, you know, really thick glitter where you couldn't really see through it. I wanted it to kind of transfer as much light as possible and still have um, the benefits of being mainly clear resin. Um, yeah, so I just mix this up really well as you always need to with glitter. Um, and then I start to pour. This is kind of like the easiest project in the world really because it's essentially just one lot of pouring and one lot of resin, one layer. Um, so I didn't entirely fill up the square. Um, I actually found that this was a bit thicker than I expected um, when it came out of the mould as you'll see shortly. Um, so next time I'd pour even thinner. So 24 hours later and it is time to demould once the resin is fully cured. Now the first thing I noticed when I started to demould is that I had a massive massive bubble. Very annoying. Um, yeah, I don't know how I missed that one with it when I went over it with a lighter, which I didn't show you, but I always do that after I pour resin. Um, but anyway, I kind of quickly uh, got rid of that bubble and unfortunately it has left a bit of an indent. It's a bit annoying, but it's not the end of the world. Now what you can see here, I've speeded this up a bit because it went on forever, is me absolutely failing to get the backing off. Um, it was just completely impossible. Um, until I drilled it. Um, but unfortunately the video of me drilling it is lost. So here I'm just going to go through the final stage of how I turned it into a sun catcher. Um, so these are the products that I used. I'll go into a bit more detail now. So the glass pendants, um, they're just from Amazon. They were already on split rings apart from the, the large split ring which I've used as you can see through the hole that I've drilled. Um, so they just kind of hang at the bottom. Um, at the top there's kind of an embellished thread that I've got from Amazon. At the moment I've just kind of tied it to the split ring but I'll figure out a way to make it a bit more secure. And these are the split rings, I think they're 30 millimeters. Um, they're the biggest that I could find um, on Amazon when I was looking for something to do this job essentially. So there you go, here is the sun catcher outside in my garden on a nice sunny afternoon. It throws some really beautiful prisms. So thanks for watching the video today. If you enjoyed it, please remember to like and subscribe. See you next time.